Roll20's Character Vault makes importing and exporting all your favorite PCs and NPCs to any of your games quick and easy. First, let's talk about the vault's access levels. If you, the GM, are a free user, then you have a limited vault. What that means is that only players who have a plus or pro account can import characters into the game. If the GM is a plus or pro subscriber, then the game has an all access vault. This means that any player or GM of this game can import characters regardless of their subscription level. Now, regardless of vault access, if you want your player to be able to import their own character, you must first turn it on in your game settings. To do so, click on the name of the game you want to grant access to on your homepage. Great! Now below the name of the game, click the settings button on the right, the one with the gear wheel on it. Then click on game settings. Now a little bit down the page, make sure that the yes is checked next to the allow players to import their own characters checkbox. If you're not sure of the type of vault access you have, you can check right here next to the vault access level. Make sure to scroll all the way down though and click on the blue save changes button at the bottom when you're done. Great. Now that our settings are taken care of, you can start importing and exporting your characters to and from the character vault. To open the character vault, hover over tools in the menu at the top center of the page, then click on character vault on the left. Awesome. Welcome to the character vault. Now your vault may look a little empty, so let's import your first character into it. First, click on the blue import existing character button on the right. Now click on the drop down box under game. This will show a list of all the games you're a part of. Select the name of the game the character you want is in. This will import it. A new drop down will appear called available characters. These are all the characters in the chosen game that we have editing permissions for. If you're a player and don't see a character here, make sure your GM has given you permission to edit and control your character. If not, you won't see it here. Finally, after you select your character, click the blue import character button at the bottom. And voila, your character is now in the vault. Keep in mind, once your character is in the vault, they are stored as a snapshot. This means they won't update if you make any changes to them in game. So if you make changes to your character in game and want to store it in the vault, you'll have to delete the existing one in the vault and re-upload it. To delete a character from the vault, simply click on the delete from vault button below the character's name. Now that your character is in the vault, exporting them to another game is super simple. On the right side of the screen, under the character's name, is a choose game dropdown. Click on that and choose the game you want to export this character to. After you've selected the game, simply click on the blue export to the game button and you're all set. A purple message will appear above saying the character has been successfully exported. Easy as that. With Roll20's Character Vault, your characters and NPCs can easily be in any and all of your games.